Hey, what is going on people? It's Low Heat. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you three beats that were inspired by this little fellow here, the Arturio Micro Freak. A synth I bought a couple of months ago, haven't used it much to be honest, but the January challenge that I'm doing on Instagram, where I have to post a beat every single day, was the perfect opportunity to explore this synth because I needed some inspiration, needed some new sounds, needed some fresh ideas because when you're posting beats every day it gets kind of repetitive if you don't try new things I will show you how it inspired those beats with its non-traditional sounds so for the first beat I just played a simple arpeggiated pattern and since the keys of the micro freak aren't really nice to play on they're not really keys actually I used the bass station to record the notes and I ran the micro freak through the vinyl sim on the SP404 But you know, since the Micro Freak has a mono output, it's very narrow. So I use the Valhalla Supermassive with the Hydra Harp preset to add some space and width to this arpeggiated pattern. Side chained it to the drums. And so the chords that I played on the Micro Freak with the arpeggiated pattern, I repeated them. Regular chords again played from the Micro Freak via the bass station keys. Laid down a super fat bass from the bass station. This lead thing, again from the bass station. Here's how the whole beat sounded. So I just saved a new version of this project, deleted all the patterns and again I recorded uh, an arpeggiated pattern with the Micro Freak but this time I used, what was it called? The Spice I, uh, the spice Control that you can control using the touch strip here to make the pattern more glitchy and the pattern is really not synchronized to the BPM, it's kind of all over the place, here's how it sounded. Again, using the Valhalla Supermassive and sidechain compression uh, on this sound. The drum sounding a bit broken as well. Again, I used the same battery kit for this one. And this is the Crux kit, stock kit from battery. I just used this one for all three beats that I'll be showing you today. Really simple bass. And so the whole beat sounded like this. So for the third beat, I set the micro freak to its speech oscillator, so it sounds kind of like a speech generator, but it's musical, it's rhythmic, and I just played a D sharp minor 7 or 9 chord, but the pattern sounded like this with the speech oscillator. So again, I did the Valhalla Supermassive with the synth ensemble preset. And I chopped up the pattern to create a more musical and rhythmic phrase, so it sounded like this. Nine, 
So I had to do a bit of editing to get this one. Then some of the drums, again, the same drums from the same battery kit. This time more straightforward, boom bap drums. And again, the bass station. And this time I used the micro freak for the chords. I played the chords straight on the micro freak, really hard to play chords on this touch capacitive kind of thing. It's kind of similar to playing synths on the iPad. A bit better than that. And again, some leads from the bass station again. And so this is how the whole beat turned out. So this January thing is taking up a lot of my time, so I haven't made as much tutorials and reviews in the last couple of weeks, but I'll be back on this this week. So stay tuned and see you in the next video.